Hello there, viewers, and welcome back to Let's Destroy Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. We are now in post game territory, rather than the post game stuff that we were doing as side ops for about uh, 15 episodes or so. And last episode, we uh, actually got to the, the uh, crazy twist ending and revealed that Big Boss in this game isn't actually Big Boss. So, yeah, dumb twist is dumb, so. I logged in here and actually saw that uh, Konami tried to go go ahead and include me in their stupid online FOB missions and now my shit's being taken, but really I don't care. And also another thing, if you look in the background you can see someone familiar and that might uh, cause you to question, oh did he mod the game? No, I actually went in and uh, did the reunion mission for a cloaked, uh, cloaked in silence on my own time because Really, without quiet, the entire thing falls apart because she is so goddamn helpful. And yes, it is as retarded as it sounds. Please select a mission. So, uh, first thing in the uh, post-game content. We're not going to be doing subsistence missions or total stealth because those are completely retarded and I don't want to deal with them. What we're actually going to do is uh, the last three boss fights of the game. We're going to be starting with, um, ironically, the extreme mission of uh, the quiet's boss fight. Yes. Um... Honestly, I don't know if I'm ever even gonna need this shit. Hmm... Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna try this... This fight, I don't know how well it's gonna go. Because I do have a plan, I'm kind of hoping that it works out. <clears throat> Sorry, I got something stuck in my throat for some reason. So I don't know how long this is going to take, so this is probably just going to be a boss fight um, video today. I'm hoping that we can get this stuff done very quickly. Okay? Could it be that sniper? Quiet. Quiet. Our silent assassin. Oh, shit. Where's the sniping point? Okie doke, here's my first plan. Air support. A strike point. Wait, don't I get to choose what kind of strike I want? Okay, here we go. Yep, let's go for the sleeping Please gas missiles and drop them right on Quiet's head. Strike requested. So I don't know how well this is gonna go. I heard that, uh... As long as we can bait her with her, um, sniper rifle, we might have a decent Strike shot. Commence shortly. Look out, boss. Take cover. There's a laser sight trained on your head. Ah, shit. That didn't deal any damage. Okay, so I'm gonna have to mark her again. And, uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that. I don't know where the fuck she's gonna disappear to. Disappeared. Zero visibility. If you can't mark him, you don't stand a chance. Stay sharp. The common thing I used to do in this, um, fight here is, uh... Okay, now I see her, so I can probably get a mark on. And I died. Um, sorry. Snake, talk to me. I'll apologize Snake. for that, mostly because, uh. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. Are you okay? Could it be that sniper? Quiet. Quiet. There we go. Now let's uh, activate that again. Now, if you're asking me, why the hell are you doing this with the cheese factor? Well, the point is that really, this boss fight is incredibly dumb, and we'll um, we'll be seeing that um. Uh, 
later when we got the chance. Strike will commence shortly. Now I gotta bait her because if I can bait her into the shot, then the hit will make. Now, if she follows the same game plan as last time, she should teleport over there. The enemy sniper just disappeared. Zero visibility. If you can't mark him, you don't stand a chance. Stay sharp. Well, I'm staying sharp. Kind of why I'm going around this uh, grass deal. Honestly, I thought I would one-shot kill her, but... Uh, apparently not. Now I gotta put in some back work. Okay. Now if my hunch is correct, she should be above these rocks. If I was streaming this, maybe one person could tell me where the fuck her site is. Oh shit. Okay, so she's over there. Okay, I think I see her. Yep, that's her, alright. Okie doke. Ow, I got shot. Yeah, this is gonna be a little more difficult than I'd like Boss, to. Boss. Well, really, it's still gonna be a short fight. Boss, you yeah, at least my, uh... Could it be that sniper? Quiet. Quiet. Our silent assassin. Where's the sniping point? There we go. Let's activate the shit again, and hope for the best. Please select a strike point. Just fire the fucking sleeping gas strike mines. Requested. Do, do, do. Strike will commence shortly. Okie doke. The enemy sniper just disappeared. Zero visibility. If you can't mark him, you don't stand a chance. Stay sharp. I'm staying sharp. What are you doing, buddy? Where the fuck is she? Oh, I see her. Seriously, is she behind that rock? Okay, I'm confused. Directional mic is picking up something, but it's in the way of that rock. Oh, there she is. Her. Okay, let's end this mission because I hate it. Okay, let's stop doing that first because that's even more annoying. Please. Okay, where is she? Commence the strike again. Okay, nope. Boom. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna bait her. 
strike will commence shortly. Cow boss, take cover. There's a laser sight trained on your head. There we go. Complete. Did you get her? With those abilities of hers. No doubt about it. She has to be one of the skulls. Okay, so we'll be discussing um this fight. I mean, you can uh, get annoyed in the comments if you want, saying that I uh, cheese the fight, but, you know, it's up to your discretion, I don't really care. Mostly because of what you saw, which we'll be discussing in about a minute. Is she wearing her Zoth uniform, or is this something completely different? The female sniper. Quiet. Cypher's assassin. Finish her. What the hell? She has green hair now. She's one of the skulls. Hurry up and kill her. No. Killing her would be a waste. Bring her back here. Boss. Boss. her lips the same color as her hair when her hair is green okay so let's talk about this battle here uh, first thing, it is the biggest failure of a Redux battle ever put into this game. And there are five Redux boss battles in this game. This is the worst one. Why? Because if you kid out a boss with only instant death attacks, it's going to be incredibly frustrating and stupidly annoying for no reason. Here's how this boss fight should have went down. She should have been able to, quick, to have a quicker response time to you... A more likely chance to use her laser sight, which is a which is a prescribed instant death move, and if you do instant death moves that way, at least people know what's coming and they can prepare for it. But this is stupid because she still uses her laser sight, which is completely pointless because it was to mark her instant death attacks in the original fight. Here it's 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 completely redundant. I mean why? This is the way you fail at doing a Redux battle. And the, the unfortunate part is that all these Redux battles are completely out, out of context. All these fights have no fucking context, so there's no reason for us to be refighting Quiet. She didn't escape and then temporarily go back to being a fucking badass and an enemy against us. You know, she, canonically, she's still on the helicopter waiting for me to get back from killing her. And you may think, oh, you cheesed the fight, you're not actually playing the fight. Well, first of all, the fight's bullshit, so your claim is bullshit. That's it. Your claim is fucking bullshit because the difficulty is put together like bullshit. This isn't a good fight, and it's a terrible example of a Redux boss fight. I mean, even in, you know, boss rushes like, you know, Mega Man and all the Capcom games have boss rushes, at least... Those have some sort of context. They usually attempt some sort of context with them. This is completely out of the blue extra challenge stuff that has no reasoning for it to even exist. It's a bad boss fight up and down for every reason. It's not fun. The gameplay mechanics are bullshit ass buckets because it's only instant death attack you're dealing with. And there's no story reason for us to be out here doing this once again. So... Kojima, you have no idea what you're doing with these fights. It's unfortunate, but it's definitely true. I mean, the Parasite and the Skull Units boss fights, Redux, actually have some more meaning behind it because you establish that Cypher is still around in some cases. And they probably still have their Parasite unit creation abilities that 
You know, they didn't just leave him behind when Skullface got killed because they still have moles and diamond dogs and they probably still have a leadership around. But anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I'm gonna put a scoreboard here before I get on the helicopter. I'll have to write that down in my production notes. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching this battle, uh, listening to what I had to say about it, and let's just get to the uh, end of the mission. Get on board with her. And get to the next boss fight that we're doing, which I just alluded to. I'm not, I'm not going to keep it a secret. We're going to be dealing with the Redux battle with the Skulls unit. And I don't know how well that's going to go because um, them being a sniping unit, they're one of the only enemies in the game that are actually able to take out Quiet. So, you know, I, I'm just not sure what to expect. Because I haven't done any recon attempts on that one. I mean, I did recon for the other two, but not the Skulls unit one. Mostly because the Skulls unit boss fight isn't just, um, high and dry, like this one. I'm actually gonna skip the cutscenes for this one, because I'm pretty sure they're just gonna replay... Um, what I've already seen about seven times, because... Oh, oh, that's what that is. Okay. So, it's a Skulls unit costume. I can, I can sort of see that. You know, I remember, I remember Sniper Wolf. But honestly, eh, it doesn't look good on her. Like if my FOB just keeps constantly getting attacked, maybe I'll do something with it. Now that I'm thinking about my FOB unit again. Yeah, they're just going to be replaying stuff I've seen. I mean, I've seen these stupid cutscenes. I've skipped them all when I was dealing with trying to reunion with Quiet. Again, there's no fucking narrative reason why you'd need to replay the cutscenes because obviousness. Yeah, 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 whatever. Dude, I just get 100,000 GMP. Nice! Although not really nice because I'm still fucking broke. Please okay, so let's get to the extreme version of Code Talker's mission. Mission accepted. Heading to Central Africa. See, I got quiet again. I mean, look at that shit. Oh wait, what? I don't actually have it developed yet. Um... Yeah, I got your damage thing ready to go. Okay, quiet. Um, hmm. Maybe I should get my uh, actual sniper rifle. Man, I have not been playing this game in such a long time. I forgot what all the controls are. I want to get one with a suppressor on it. Okie doke. Let's get in there. We got a boss fight to put the fuck down. I mean, the Redux battles with the, um, with the Parasite unit were actually pretty good. You know, they did exactly what you'd expect from an upper challenge Parasite unit boss fight. They kill you in about two shots, their abilities are quicker, but they still have the same... The same ability to get shut down by Quiet, which is definitely a mercy. Because, like I said in every view of every Parasite unit, because the only way that you can damage these guys is through Quiet, it makes it look pretty bullshit. Tell team member you extracted. He knows what the epidemic is and how to treat it. You'll find him in a mansion deep in the valley beyond the forest. He's a high-value target who's probably involved with Cypher's research. This information came at a heavy price. And you convince security on site is gonna be tight. Watch yourself out there, all right? Don't worry, we got this. The target, code talker. And if the treatment requires it, extract him to mother... Honestly, if we beat the boss fight and then, you know, die trying to rescue code talker, I might, I might not even go back to extract him. Because the point of this thing is to do the boss fight. We're not here to, you know, redo the code talker thing. Be careful down there, boss! Don't worry, I will. Wait, where is the thing? Is it that way? Okay, okay, quiet. Let's get rolling. Let's 
that quiet water running sound? Cause that sounds like a fucking enemy helicopter to me. No question we're gonna be required to fight, uh, Code Talk. No, wait. The Skulls unit again. No sign of the enemy. Judging from security in the area, I'd expect to see a patrol by now. Yeah, thanks for fucking spoiling, Kaz. Um, I think they just showed up. Missed. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, well, bad feeling it up some more because we're gonna have to deal with the Skulls unit pretty fucking soon. I don't know how powerful they're gonna be. I might hide behind a rock and, you know, let Quiet do some distracting work. Okay. Yep, we're here. The Skulls unit is ready to go. I don't know how tough these girls are gonna be because, yeah, Kojima, I really want to focus on their boobs because they're literally robots. Anyway, um, they seem pretty receptive to my sniper bullets last time we fought these guys, so... Wait, is that their skin? So they are walking around in their fucking underwear. Kojima, what the hell is wrong with you? Ooh, look at that sight. She's got a double sight on that thing. Is that? Boss, it's the skulls. Damn it. So Cypher is behind this. I can barely see the target, let alone do anything with it. There we go. Now let's take a shot at her. Oh shit. Okay, let's take a pot shot at her. Boom. Oh yeah, my sniper rifle did not do any fucking damage. You see that? The sniper vanished into thin air. Just like quiet. If you can't mark them, there's no way to tell where they'll strike from next. Stay on your guard. Development complete. Well, at least my development projects are getting done. Boom. This might be fun. You know, I'm actually having a little bit of fun here. Well, that being said, I can barely see any of these guys. What the hell? How'd they see me? What the? Did you see that? Now that was cool. Okay, I think they're on the hill. Somewhere. The hell is that? Okay. So, you're up in a tree? There we are. You're in the tree. Ow! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me! Hey, quit kidding around! Instant death attacks. Missed. I have a bad feeling about this. Is that... Boss, it's the Skulls. Damn it! So Cypher is behind this.
see that? The sniper vanished into thin air. Just like quiet. If you can't mark them, there's no way to tell where they'll strike from next. Stay on your guard. Okay.
Boss, come in. Boss, what the hell is with these guys? Missed. I have a bad feeling about this.
Please select a drop for supplies requested. Supply drop complete.
god, I'm so freaking <laughs> enthralled by this boss fight. I'm actually starting to start to get into it. <laughs> Okay, quiet. Disappearing sniper. Don't let your eyes fool you, boss. The enemy's still there somewhere. Use your binoculars. NVGs are knocked to sign in to see through their tricks. Hmm. Could try my uh, NVG. Okay, quiet. You can cover me now. Cover me.
Okay, guys. Now, under... Above the corpse of the defeated skull. The skull's unit. We have finally defeated them after a whole hour and a half of fighting, so I'm gonna be cutting a lot of that out. Probably just doing the, uh, winning attempt here. Anyway, describing these guys. All these, these ladies. Anyway. It's kinda like the quiet battle on fucking steroids, because all these skulls units... Whoops. Uh, okay then. Well, we had the chance to catch them and they ran away. That's, uh, not a huge loss, but whatever. Well, it's mostly because I'm not gonna be playing this game very much. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's the quiet- it's the Redux quiet battle on fucking steroids. These things have only instant kill attacks, especially with their melees, which they can periodically come down from the mountain and come and kill you. And while you'd think I would automatically hate that off the bat, I actually don't. Like, all through the six attempts of this fight, I was fucking interested, I was enthralled with the fight, and I was totally immersed in the situation. And the addition of the periodic melee attacks from the skulls actually add a lot because they were able to break through my immersion and then, you know, present me with death right in my fucking face. And, you know, it was really, really immersive. I mean, you know, you felt the fucking fear when one of those skulls came down from the fucking hill because this fight lasted probably around a half hour, 20 minutes, and instant death means you have to do that all over again. I mean, it's really weird because, you know, on its own, you know, the fight is exactly the fucking same. What makes it, though, is the Dark Soulsian quality of the boss fight. Because you have to figure out what the fuck's going on. And one of the things that this fight does is it allows the, ba the skulls to have weaknesses. Probably carryover weaknesses, but I don't know. Anyway... Their weakness is that they can't see through the leaves on the trees around here. So you can use that to find them and then take pot shots at them. It's what makes the fucking battle. I mean, I don't like it that much. And once again, there's no narrative reason for this to be happening because this is a redux of the Code Talker mission. They, they shouldn't be guarding somebody that isn't already there. But honestly, gameplay mechanics? It turned what the redux quiet battle couldn't do and actually made it an immersive and fun battle. I mean, these guys can, you know, find you and execute you the exact same way as Quiet, but for the reason that there's four of them, and for the reason that you're fighting them at a, such a huge distance, actually makes the fucking fight. This was a hell of a lot of fun and a great achievement. I mean, you know, brilliant use of Redux battles to make a difficult and satisfying boss fight. I can't say it any, any more than that. This was fucking amazing. Okay, so we're gonna try and attempt the, uh, the uh, rest of the mission here. Uh, I don't know how well it's gonna go. We should be receiving a checkpoint, unless the game feels like being a Dark Souls dick. And, uh, before we reach the mansion, so we should be able to finish that up. Uh, I actually know a way to cheese this part of the battle. I mean, somebody told me it. Uh, I'm hoping that it's still, still valid. I don't know how, uh, how well it's gonna go over, but I might as well, since we did the difficult part of the mission here. Detected. The map has been updated. I might actually be sneaking up on the mansion in the wrong way, so I, I, I don't know. I assume this being an extreme, uh, mission, that all the... All the zero-risk security guys are going to be in full armor and making that, you know, quite an impossibility to get around. <laughs> Although I do have with me, uh, well, there's the mansion up there, but how the hell are we supposed to get around? I do have with me, um, stealth camo. I might use that. Because then I can essentially sneak my way over there. You might be asking why I'm doing these, uh, these, um, deployment guy things. Well, really the reason is that. Well, I basically need GMP. You need the mansion. That's where you'll find the target code talker. 
definitely helps that I know where Code Talker is this time, so we're just gonna be uh, trying to sneak our way through that. <laughs> Shit. Shit ain't Christ. Shit ain't Christ. Okay, so the way that I heard that you can cheese this battle is uh, you go in through the back. Bodies around, don't leave bodies around. That's another thing that the fight told me. You, you shouldn't leave bodies around. Holy shit, this guy had a honeybee. He's coming too. Roger that. Fuck you, zero risk security. Ow! Fucking! How do you? Sh Ow! And of course they have. What the hell? Did he throw a grenade? Okie dokie. What the hell is the same? Never mind. Oh, come on! No, no, stop it! Stop it! Kill him! The PF Zero Risk Security. Looks like they're protecting the target. Okay. They said sneak through the basement, but. Now then what? I forgot where Code Talker is even put. And I'm dead. Uh, hey, quit kidding around, Snake. Well, they should have added a checkpoint somewhere in between all the fucking. You secured the target. Because I want to do some other stuff today. Put the code talker in the chopper and return to base. One shot. Wait, what? Um, can we get some frickin' I don't know. Air support Please to around here.
Well, this has been a failure on all the levels. Strike point. Support helicopter requested. Select a mission. Unit dispatched. Unit dispatched. Unit dispatched. Give me a fucking rocket launcher, I'll deal with it myself. Send a rocket launcher. I'll deal with the guy myself. Please select a drop point. Supplies requested. Keep dissing, disappearing, or does this guy keep waking up? You know what? Screw it. You guys are being dicks.
trying to get my fucking regenerating health down so I can finally finish off this tank and his friend the copter. Damage get one helicopter, one tank take. Boss, protect the target. If he dies, mother base dies. How was, with he, him. How was he even taking damage? Toe Talker, how are you even getting hurt? Or is this helicopter? it's going but you might as well take advantage while it's not here quiet don't stand down I'm gonna fucking shoot all these bad guys victims of experiments ever infected without my knowledge even had I known there is nothing I could have done. Are the MIA Intel team members buried there too? Bastards. They're gonna pay for this. Okay, Pequod. Call down the helicopter. We need to get out of here. Please select a landing zone. A support helicopter Roger. requested. The weather will clear shortly. Well, hopefully the fucking GMP reward for this will cover the damages caused by me repeatedly blowing up support helicopters. Yeah, let's just get out of here. The fucking helicopter's not coming back. <laughs> Sorry, Code Talker. Thought I heard the helicopter, but it was actually water. Shortly at LZ. Okay, under my calculations, uh, you know, we're gonna get this done in one video. No matter what. Let's head out. Well, screw the enemy presence. We're out of here. We're done. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Mission complete, boss. Eh, B's not that bad.
And I already know what he says. Hell, we already went through it. It's done. Okie dokie, and the last boss fight of this video is the Redux of the Solanthophis battle. So, of course, I'm going to equip myself with that rocket launcher. Because it's insane. Quiet's going to help me out here. It's going to be fun! Now, full disclosure for this one, I actually did do a recon attempt and was quite surprised by what I saw. I don't know if it's gonna be the same thing, but, eh, you know, for what I was expecting, definitely a fucking surprise that, um, the redux of the Soul Anthemus battle had been designed like this, and you might see what I'm talking about through, through the video, M might not, I don't know. Let's, uh, just skip that cutscene and get right into it. There's fucking Eli, and everyone said that he snuck onto the fucking shit. Boss, stop Destroy that thing. Um, I... So it has its flamey whip. That's, a uh, that's a good thing. Fire the rocket! Fire the rocket at your face! Your face is dumb, your face is dumb. Now I don't know if I, uh, you know, it was just dumb luck the first time around, but... Yeah, you'll see. You'll see it. Oh shit. Okay, so it uses its machine gun a lot more, but I have no idea why it decides to do that. I actually fought this thing at night, so maybe my uh, opinion of the first one is a little bit biased, but then again, I don't know. Shit, who put a gate here? What the hell? I actually didn't see a jump last time, so I was kind of surprised. Uh, probably should have outran the missiles. Oh, wait. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing this time. Last time I did this, it wasn't even this bad. Oh, uh, you, dickhead. I just shot your back. Deal with it. Yeah, it's roaring, so whatever. It'll probably pull out its tricks more um, when the fight starts getting actually going. I don't know. I don't know why you're even doing that, Pet Quad, considering you're an asshole. Hey, you. Let's do a face shot. Just for fun. So, yeah. Definitely my kind of fight. This one's fun. I'll give that away before uh, my actual review of the fight, but it's definitely fun. I don't know why they haven't taken out the attack helicopter or anything. Shit, outrun the missiles! Outrun the missiles! Outrun the missiles! Oh, sunset. It's actually... Wait, it's actually that late? Oh, and then the red comes out. I have no idea what this is supposed to signify. But... Ah, red! I don't understand it, it's red! Ah! Snake, run away! I think I just escaped that by dumb luck. Oh, 
Eat it, your butt. The shit, 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 shit. The shit. I don't even know where I am on the map anymore. This is ridiculous. Okay, that's not fair. I can't even see anymore. I'm kind of waiting for this red to blow over because literally I can't tell what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, and then there's this giant lens flare because why not? Ow. Okay, that was my fault. I wasn't constantly running. I don't know what the fuck this red is supposed to be, but I think it's supposed to be Mecha Car Archaea or whatever the fuck that is. Shit on my biscuits, shit on my brace. Ah, 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 ow. Okay. Wait, am I alive? I think I'm alive. Watch out, boss. Take all the time you need. I'm trying to get my regenerating health up because I did not, I did not see that coming. Hey, dickhead! How about we play dickhead catch? Great job. The one feature you gotta love about this fight is that you get automatic supply drops. Well, on top of everything else, I'm really trying to make sure. It's coming after hours. Take it out. They say that it does bonus damage, but I have no idea. Well, you can send it whenever the fuck you want. You've been doing this. Oh, it's doing the railgun thing. Now, one thing that I thought the boss fight was gonna do... Hey, let's get a face shot. Face shot! In your face. Now, one thing I thought this boss fight was gonna do was it gonna do that, uh... You know, shoot this through the rocks. And it did it. Oh, and then there's the other thing, the fact that this thing is shooting them from up there, opposed to literally anywhere else, and you get the biggest amount of cover for the shots. I thought that was going to be the most annoying facet of that battle, but it didn't do anything with it. And now run. Oh, shit. Get up, get up, get up. Get up, get out of the circle. Don't run into another one, you fucking prick. Ugh. Path finding. Holy crap, I had like... Infinity amount of time to actually get out of that. Shit. Shit on my bits. Shit on my bits. Woohoo! Phew. Got away. Somehow. Yeah, so I think you're starting to see my point with this fight. It's weirdly this way this time around. I mean, I remember the first battle. It took me like five freaking attempts because, well, on top of just the ray gun issue. I don't know why they start. I don't know why they, uh. made their. uh. the machine gun a more profound version of this boss fight. Like, what's the point? Think about it. Face down! Got flamethrower even, which it stole directly from Peace Walker. 
because I remember uh, in my hour-long video about that boss fight, it had that, uh, that, um, dick flamethrower on it. Hey, you, dickhead! Shut up. You never cease to amaze, boss. Now it's on fire! Fuck you. Now you're constantly on fire. Running away, running the fuck away. I don't know if it has a super dickhole final attack, but, uh... Oh, come on, you have one in the cliff? Fuck you. Oh, shit. Pull down its attack. Where's Tretage? Where is Tretage? And now a couple of free shots. Because fuck you. Because fuck you. I said fuck you. And now run away from you. Back on the road. Back on the road again. Because the song said so. I don't know if it's gonna have a super or final duper attack not. I kind of doubt it at this point. And boosh in the face. Yeah, in the face. In the face. Destroy the railgun. Everything's on fire. You're not gonna stop me. I'm running away from your missiles. You have no missiles that can hit me. Fuck you! Wanna do that again, huh? I'm ready for it. La 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 da! Boom boom! Boom boom boom! Okie dokie, let's do it up! Let's do it up! Let's do it the fuck up! Let's shoot you in the leg! That did some damage! Fuck you! You don't got nothing! Ah shit! Shit up my bricks. Shit up my bricks. Okay, literally anyone can finish it off now, so just, you know, finish it off. I don't really care. They're expecting me to finish it. What the hell? Okay, I'll shoot it in the radon then. That little sliver of health is getting it some ways of the food show. Hey, dickhole. How about let's finish the fight? And boom, it's dead. Why would the med team level up off of that? Mission complete, and how? They're gonna tell stories about this one, boss. Boosh! Yeah, that's an S rank on Extreme Solanthropus. Yeah, I'm just waiting until we get in the helicopter to do the actual review of that one. Okay. So, the redux of Solanthropus. The big baddie for the whole game and the final boss of chapter one. Is a fucking pussy! It's a pussy boss fight, and it's outdone by the original Solanthropus. You're putting work into the flamethrower and activating more of the machine gun shit, and missiles, and rockets that have no ability to stop me at anything. This boss fight doesn't even do what it was supposed to do and have you die in two frickin' hits. Or even increase the frequency of the attacks. You can get out of the way of everything of this guy. What the hell? This Redux battle is so fucking easy that any dickhole who played through this game for more than 10 hours should be able to frickin' deal with it. As long as you maybe got like the Grom level 2 or something. I mean, the attacks are so fucking easy to get around, and have no, you know, need for the 40 hours that you put in this game. It's so fucking stupid. 
It's a hilariously terrible boss fight because of how badly they screwed the difficulty. It's probably 50% easier than the first Soul Anthemis battle, and you're using this as an extreme battle. It's hilarious how badly you fucked this up. But, hey, why not? It's the final mission of the game. You probably were running out of development time or something because you don't want to do, you know, the boss fights first and then the gameplay mechanics. Or, you know, do what you're supposed to do and develop the start and then the end of the game and then there you go. It's, honestly, it's a good depiction of my feelings towards Chapter 2 as a whole. All well, except for, you know, the redux of the Skulls of Battle. Anyway. Those were the last three boss fights of this game. So in the next video, we're going to be we're going to be finishing up the side ops and then closing the book on Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, and we'll be doing a final game review. You know, we're just going to be doing that over some gameplay footage and uh, you know, a let's destroy style of a uh, review instead of uh, what I'd usually do. So so I hope to see you then, and I do appreciate you for following me through here. This uh, video is going to be doing some heavy editing, and even though I think it's going to... I think it's still going to be a huge video. So thanks for sticking with me on this. You've been awesome. Victory for gamers, because you damn well deserve it. And I'll see you at the...